to show you some of the new features in Arcos, uh, I'd like to show you first some of the uh, tool tips. As you can see with my cursor, I have a, a, uh, a mouse that uh, shows me frequency and, and uh, uh, decibels here in the top right corner. If I click anywhere in that window and I hit the F1 key, you can see I get my EQ graph keyboard shortcuts. And this shows me all the shortcuts that are possible from within this window. The next thing I'd like to show you is the predictive target curve. So once I've uh, taken a measurement and I've done some calibration, I might want to come back and uh, modify some of the EQ bands, but I'd like to see what they're going to do before I do it. So for example, uh, I might want to fix this area. As you can see when I click and drag, I get a selection range. Uh, it also tells me the octave band and the center frequency of this particular selection, which is not necessarily the exact area that I need to fix. So I'll click anywhere to deselect. The next thing I need to do is select a EQ band uh, that is not being used that I can use to fix this area. So if I hit the space bar, you can see I get a uh, filter selection up here in the top right corner, filter T1, which is being used. If I hit backspace, I go backwards one, and you'll see that there's one that's not being used, filter 15. Uh, I just happen to know that that was not being used. Now I could come down here and, and click on one of these small boxes, or I can just use the up and down keys to increase or decrease. And you can see there it starts to pop out. And the left and right to make the frequency higher or lower. And you can see that the uh, predictive curve starts to appear, and I can see what it would do. If I make it really big, you can see how large that can become. Page up and down will increase or decrease the size of the bandwidth. And you can see that happening down here, as well as in the predictive curve up here. So I just adjust it until it looks relatively flat. That looks pretty good. Um, at this point, uh, I would be done and I'd want to take another measurement just to make sure that what I did actually had the effect I wanted. At this point, the last step would be to remeasure the speaker. And the way to do that is to come down to where it says Run Single Task. Click on that button. And you can see I have a list of things that can be done to this channel. I would just want to remeasure the after EQ and then hit OK.